Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Welcome, my friend, to this episode. How are you guys? I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. So today, this is the second of 12 mini episodes that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm actually going to be sharing with you a chapter from my book, What Will It Take For You To Understand, which is all about 50 truth bombs to change your life. And those lessons from that book also form the backbone for my course, Mindful Living Master Course. So both you can find on dreambigmyfriend.com.au. But of course, the information that I'm sharing with you is going to be enough to get you started on living more intentionally. So as I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm sharing with you these free chapters because I really believe this, that this information is so valuable. It's one of those things that I wish every single person in the world would just embrace. And when I call it a truth bomb, it's because a light bulb literally goes off in your head one day. And when you get it, you're like, okay, I can never go back because once you've seen a light, you sort of can't stay in that darkness anymore. So my book, What Will It Take For You To Understand, is definitely different from all the other personal development books. I've written over 20 books, and this one is definitely my favorite because it focuses less on what you need to actually do or change in your life in order to make it better, and more on what you just need to understand in order to make your life more manageable and special. So if you've ever found yourself fighting against things rather than accepting what is and living in peace and just going with the flow... This book highlights 50 drift bombs that you need to understand to free yourself from that constant pain and suffering. And I call it the wake up call you need. So to live well and have more clarity in your life, I really believe that you've got to understand some truths. I call them life truths. So are you ready for me to drop another truth bomb on you? I love this one. Are you ready to understand? Let's go. This chapter is called Life is Too Short to Keep Crappy Friends. So when we are young, we don't think too much about who our friends are. We're happy to play with anyone with a good toy collection or imagination. But as we get older, we become pickier and choose our friends, typically people who have the same interest as us or beliefs, or just provide us with emotional support and guidance. And unfortunately, we don't always choose well. And over time, we recognize that some of our relationships might be rather toxic. Trust me, we've all made this mistake from time to time. So a toxic relationship is one that causes you more pain than happiness. And these frenemies are people who make you feel bad about yourself. They put you down, they manipulate you, and they exclude you. Sometimes really subtly so other people don't even notice, but it's something that you still feel strongly inside. And some of us have probably made a million excuses for these so-called friends. Like, well, they don't mean to be rude. That's just their personality. They're like that to everyone. And deep down, they're really nice. But let me tell you right now, those excuses are only serving to keep you stuck in crappy relationships with friends and possibly family members that you might be better off or not being as close to them. You might keep on telling yourself this story because let's face it, it feels even more uncomfortable to stand up to these toxic friends. You think it is what it is. It's not so bad. I mean, what else can you do to protect yourself from feeling that you possibly made a few bad choices in that core friend and family selection? But then one day this truth bomb goes off for you. Life is simply too short to keep these crappy friends around. If a person insists on causing you grief, you need to let them go. Now, there's nothing wrong with moving on from one friendship circle to another. If you feel like your old friends don't have the same values, that they don't respect you, and that you just simply have moved on. It is fine to go ahead and make new friends in life, especially if these new friends bring out the best in you. It's also fine not to spend all your time with close family that make you feel like crap. You can definitely loosen the ties that you have with your family if you need to. It's all up to you. It doesn't mean that you're not family anymore. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person, that you refuse to allow yourself to be treated like a doormat or a punching bag. It simply means that you are respecting yourself. You're showing yourself respect. It means you're putting yourself first for a change. Your feelings, your mental health, your life and your sanity. So at any rate, you will soon realize that it's less important to have more friends and more important to have real friends. In life, we never lose friends. We only learn who our true friends are. And sometimes we need to move on. 
So the biggest mistake in our life is when we let bad friends stick around longer than they deserve to be in it. So respect yourself enough to walk away from anyone or anything that no longer serves you, helps you grow or makes you happy. Okay, so if it's not serving you, if it's not helping you grow and it simply doesn't make you happy, it is okay to move on. So when this truth bomb goes off, I want you to listen to it. There are people out there who sincerely don't want to see you happy. That's just the truth. I mean, I wish it was the case that everyone wanted to see you happy, but some people don't. So if you have a friend or a family member that you think it's time to loosen the ties and grip on, just do it now. It's totally fine. Today, not tomorrow, now and not later. So there you go. That was another chapter. And I'm telling you, as I am reading these ones out, I'm itching to say more on this topic and I probably will revisit them in the future because there is so much said about how to deal with all these situations if this truth bomb hasn't gone off for you as yet. So I do hope you found this mini episode to be helpful. Remember you can find more info on this book and my Mindful Living Master course at dreambigmyfriend.com. And if you enjoyed this chapter, please stay tuned because we have another 10 coming your way. As always, thank you so much for being here with me. I do love and appreciate you all. And I cannot wait to catch you in the next episode. Until then, dream big, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com, where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friends.